Hi friends, let's talk about the top 10 best anti-inflammatory brain foods to eat. You'll be surprised at this list because they can improve your brain health and help you reverse insulin resistance, improve your immunity, and lose weight. I do not know one single prescription drug that can do all that. Number 10 is a food high in omega-3 fats called alpha linolenic acid, and it can help people lose weight and live longer. Diets high in alpha linolenic acid or polyunsaturated fats are good for your heart and arteries because they prevent irregular heartbeats and improve blood flow. Heart disease is still the number one killer. It can even reduce inflammation in the arteries caused by eating high saturated fat foods like after a steak or a hamburger dinner. It is the English walnut. People who replace some of their animal protein with a handful of walnuts can lower their risk of diabetes, which is actually a risk factor for dementia. Walnuts may even help reduce amyloid plaques, which are prominent in Alzheimer's disease. Despite being high in calories, about a handful of walnuts a day can help you lose weight. And this is because it is packed with fiber, which feeds your largest immune organ, your gut microbiome. Fiber delays the absorption of your calories and will prevent the absorption really of some of the calories. When your gut microbiome eats fiber, it makes anti-inflammatory molecules called butyrate, as well as acetic acid that increases your resting metabolic rate. And people who eat more fiber appear to have less colon cancer and dementia too. Add walnuts to your breakfast oatmeal, sprinkle it on your favorite salad or soups or just eat it plain. Number nine is another food that has special fatty compounds called carotenoids. Your brain is made out of fat, but it doesn't need the saturated fat or cholesterol that you eat in processed foods because it can make all those compounds on its own, but it does need carotenoids because it can't make it. And we can measure the carotenoid levels in your blood. And people with higher blood levels of carotenoids simply have lower risks of heart disease. They also have improved triglyceride cholesterol. And men also have improved sugars and smaller waists. Now this makes sense. Carotenoids are primarily found in plants. It's the yellow and orange pigment that you see in a kabocha squash, which is delicious to eat. Kabocha squash has a creamy, rich, sweet texture that tastes like it should be really bad for you, but it's actually really good for you. It has a low glycemic load, so it doesn't spike your blood sugars. They are excellent for everyone to eat, including those with diabetes. They are really easy to make, and you can really just microwave a kabocha squash for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of the squash. Just remember to stab it with a fork all around so it doesn't explode in the microwave. It's also really hard to cut raw. And if you don't have a cleaver, then you may want to soften it up in the microwave before you cut it. Now, I don't recommend deep frying it, but it does taste pretty good, better than french fries. Carotenoids are antioxidants, which your brain desperately needs every day because it undergoes so much stress and it's full of fat. Have you ever left some cooking oil out too long? or found an old stale potato chip and it was rancid, that's oxidized oil and it's toxic. A similar process is happening in your brain all the time because it is so metabolically active. There's electricity shooting left and right. And when you eat carotenoids, you're actually helping out your brain to detoxify. And this activates a system, your strongest detoxification system called the glutathione redox system. And in case you didn't know, carotenoids become vitamin A, which are important for growth and immunity and vision. Number eight is another commonly found orange color food that is rich in carotenoids. That's the carrot. I can't emphasize how eating enough colorful plants are so beneficial because I see so many people with skin conditions. And when you're low in vitamin A, it's not just your skin that suffers. You're gonna have leaky gut and diarrhea, chronic coughing, dry eyes, cataracts, and possibly even kidney stones. And this can all happen if you don't have enough vitamin A. So remember to eat some carrots. Now, some people would rather take vitamin A in a supplement. And just remember, when you mega dose vitamin A, it can be very toxic. Please be cautious whenever you take anything that has vitamin A. 
because it can build up in your system and be toxic. But when you eat whole plants rich in carotenoids, you don't have to worry about getting toxic levels. Number seven is another food that also contains special carotenoids called lutein and zeaxanthin, two molecules that are found in your retina to help you see. Now your eye is literally an extension of your brain. And when you eat foods that are rich in these two compounds, you can help prevent macular degeneration. If you think about it, your eyes are constantly being bombarded by damaging, stressful light waves, especially when you're in the sun or staring at the computer screen. And that's why it's beneficial for you and your kids to wear sunglasses when you go outside and take computer and phone breaks. But your body can also repair the daily damage through your foods. And we can actually measure these nutrients in your blood and measure them in your eye. Now, people who have higher lutein and zeaxanthin levels are simply have healthier brains. And this is a benefit of eating three cups of dark leafy green vegetables every day like kale. The trick to eating kale is to massage it and soften those leaves. Not only is it softer to eat, but it also releases more nutrients. Removing the stem will also make it more palatable. And if you choose to cook kale, let's say with some crushed garlic, remember, chop the kale first and let it rest for about 30 minutes before you actually cook it. This allows you to maximize this nutrition profile. And if you want a delicious dressing, soak a third cup of cashews in hot water for about 10 minutes. Then you put that cashew and water in a small blender. Then you add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar and add a quarter teaspoon of cumin, add the same amount of onion powder, a squirt of mustard, a clove of garlic, and one dried date without added sugar. And if you need some salt, you can add a teaspoon of miso. You blend that up well and you have a delicious savory dressing. If you're allergic to cashew, replace it with some other seed of your preference. You see, kale and other cruciferous vegetables contain a unique phytonutrient called sulforaphane that appears to be protective against oxidative stress and prevents many diseases, including cancers. So this is why number six, you should consider eating broccoli sprouts, which have the highest concentration of sulforaphane in the cruciferous family. Broccoli sprouts may be more difficult to buy and you may have to sprout broccoli seeds yourself. It's actually pretty easy to do, but you do need a mason jar with a mesh lid that can drain water. Now you want to rinse the seeds daily and in a few days you'll see it sprout. Remember to order seeds from a reputable company so that it's not contaminated with bad bacteria. Number five is another food that is high in vitamin C. This is a powerful antioxidant that your brain needs daily. And most people only think about vitamin C when they think about their immune system, like when they get a cold. However, your brain is the largest user of vitamin C. And if you haven't noticed, when your brain is unhappy, the rest of your body is unhappy. Your brain gets first dibs on all the nutrients that you eat. So if it uses up all the vitamin C, your immune system won't get any left. Half of America don't eat enough vitamin C. Vitamin C is essentially just from plants. Vitamin C allows you to make collagen to improve your skin and heal wounds. It also can reduce your blood pressure and improve blood sugar levels. In addition, vitamin C helps vitamin A work since they support the glutathione system. And this is why you should eat the red bell pepper. One red bell pepper has more vitamin C than three oranges. Which should be number four. You should eat citrus fruits like oranges and tangerines, which have been shown to boost DNA repair, even orange juice. Drinking juice appears to be protective against Alzheimer's, but you want to make sure you aren't consuming juice with added sugars. And if you have insulin resistance, then it's really best to skip the juice and eat the whole fruit. Even healthy people need to limit their fruit juice consumption if you're worried about gaining weight and getting fatty liver. Whereas when you eat the whole fruit, the fiber protects your body from sugar surges. Now, number three is actually a spice that I like, and just a pinch of it improves memory and alertness. That's why I like to cook with the rosemary. You don't want to eat too much of it as an excess amount can make you less alert. And this is something you really can just sprinkle on your oatmeal or whatever you want to eat as a savory flavor. Number two is my favorite creamy, high vitamin E and potassium rich fruit. That's the avocado. Vitamin E is an important antioxidant for your brain because it supports your glutathione antioxidant 
antioxidant system. 97% of Americans struggle to meet their daily potassium needs. And we don't have enough potassium, you will have elevated blood pressure, you're going to get kidney stones, you're going to get more cramps, irregular heartbeats, and really, I don't think your brain will function well. Number one is a food I try to eat daily because it has high levels of quercetin, which really should be a vitamin. This is a powerful antioxidant that is also a senolytic and increases the lifespan of old mice, equivalent to having them live 15 more human years beyond their normal lifespan. Quercetin has been shown to improve the lung function of people with a deadly inflammatory lung disease called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in just three weeks. Do you know which food has the most quercetin? Onions. 12 weeks of eating onions daily have been shown to help people reduce their body weight, their blood pressure, and improve brain imaging and cognitive tests. If you want to learn more about what else you can eat that's packed with health benefits, watch the next video.